hey guys nice to see you guys today thank you for choosing to spend your time with me today and clicking on that thumbnail today's video as you can see from the title i'm going to be going through some fabric which i recently got out and about it is a fabric haul today that's what i'm trying to say now if you didn't know this is the chin i just saw in space where you and i learn to and style the world of our dreams and um, please remember to click on the bell icon and subscribe it is the best way to support your favorite content creators for free okay enough rambling let's get into the video okay let me say another thing um i typically don't do fabric hauls because i buy my fabrics locally here in nigeria and i don't ever feel like you guys will you guys won't be able to go to the particular store and get that particular fabric however i just decided today to show you guys this haul and hopefully it will inspire you guys so that next time you're going out fabric shopping you can look out for that type of fabric or something similar and yeah it's i think it will be helpful to you guys at the end of the day so let's get on with the video right now like truly let's get on okay in no particular order let me start and i don't know if the real um color payoff will show on the video sorry i'm just looking at my screen but i will do if it isn't i will do cutaways for you guys so this is the first fabric that i have i feel like it's an organza type fabric okay it's got some like it's a black and white motif with some greens in there and i don't know if you guys can see but in the middle there i feel like it's kind of lavender and looking at this fabric you just think oh it's something it's plain it's simple but voila the reverse is a stripe so i was thinking of some sort of skirt you know nice billowy flowy skirt or something wrap <laughs> i know i keep saying i don't like wrap things but it's seeming like i'm going to have to sew that now because um, i feel like a wrap when you're walking it will be swishing and showing off um the inside of the fabric so i don't know what side do you guys prefer like this side or this side like should i sew with this side and the swishing will be this floral bit or should i sew with the floral bit and the swishing will be the striped bit okay let me know down below in the comment section which side you think i should use now the next fabric i have like honestly guys i i like to go for interesting fabrics interesting textures you know so this next one is also something like that oh it's getting washed out i'm sorry i'll do a close-up for you guys but it is like a cheesecloth type type deal okay and some parts are striped some parts are checked but the checked part has like a cheese cloth type effect to it okay now this i i really really do not know what to what to make with it i would like some suggestions please 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 because i was thinking a skirt but i was thinking eh, skirts all the time i need tops so um i'm sure anything you make with this kind of interesting fabric will be will be nice there's no stretch on this side but on this side it has some stretch from these cheese uh, cheesecloth type effect side but the plain side let's see the plain oh the plain side is also just a bit stretchy just mechanical stretch nothing wonderful but yeah let me know what uh you have in mind to help out help me with my decision now the next fabric we have is all black and i had to start buying because i'm really not a black person like i wouldn't wear you wouldn't catch me wearing black on black although i do have a little black dress but i mean that is like a given but you wouldn't catch me wearing 
black and black it's not really my thing but this black i fell in love with because it's embossed it's got a floral design embossed on it i don't know if you guys can see i will do close-ups for you guys and i don't know if you guys can see it's also got like a stripe detail effect thing going on and to be honest with you guys i don't really know if that stripe detail is is real or if it's just from the folded but i hope it is so like you know that's interesting black fabric embossed i don't think it's a jacquard or brocade and if you don't know I, I recently did a video explaining to you guys what jacquard brocade and all other types of woven fabrics are i'll link that video for you guys so, so you understand why i'm saying i don't think this is a jacquard or a brocade it's more embossed but it's embossed on both sides so effectively you can use both sides of the fabric okay suggestions as well or maybe you know like a girl needs more than one little black dress because honestly i just have the one and typically when i buy fabrics i buy three yards just so if i change my mind on anything um i can do what i want with the fabric i was thinking of making a pair of pants with this because i do need black pants right but like i said if you watch any of my videos you see that i i lack so much in the tops department and i'm trying to change that like i'm seriously guys i'm trying to change that so if i make pants with this hopefully if there's some leftover then i will make a maybe like a crop matching crop top or something like that oh 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 maybe do the body of the crop top with this and then do some nice puffy sleeves with this fabric what do you guys think what do you guys think sounds nice to me you know fabric i got this for an ashwedi that i was supposed to be part of i was part of it but i was supposed to sew it but I was sewing another dress another Ankara dress that I made and there's a video like you can find that dress in my latest video that I did showing you guys my Ankara makes since I've been sewing for myself I'll link that video for you guys so you can see the dress and this wedding was supposed to be at the same time as that as that event that I was going for so I couldn't oh sorry i've been showing you guys the wrong part so i couldn't and i was informed late so i couldn't sew up both but it is a very very juicy and delicious pink and green fabric right we sell these are the kind of laces you find in nigeria and usually it comes with a, a head scarf it comes with a head scarf that you can tie on it right that's pink as well and everybody at that wedding that sewed theirs looks so lovely i'll see if i can get a picture and post for you guys so you see what it looks like okay next fabric um nothing too special it's denim fabric i don't have a lot of denim fabric i don't have a lot of denim things actually i'm very much like proper fabric kind of girl but i bought this denim because i liked the shade of blue and i was thinking of making some cute nice denim dress i saw online i'll put a picture up so you guys can see and um, suffice it to say my grand plans haven't worked out yet <laughs> but um i hope putting this up here will you know make me accountable you guys can hold me accountable please do and um, I'm not even planning to sew any of all these things anytime soon. I just want to show you guys the fabrics that I have. So this next fabric I have tied up already because as soon as I saw it, I, I knew what I wanted to make. And I don't even know, like, if you guys know what type of fabric this is, please just tell me. It feels like a... I don't want to say satin you know i don't know i really don't know what this fabric is but the 
the video right now isn't doing it any much justice the colors look so divine and lush you know and um, this fabric here is what I want to use for the lining but like immediately I saw it so it's nice and drapey right it's not stretchy at all and I wanted to make one of these you know like milkmaid dresses with the bustier and all that good stuff and uh, yeah I I still intend to make that especially with this lining here okay so yeah that is the plan I have for this fabric and I've already picked out a lining now the last fabric I have here is from Minerva and if you've ever gotten a parcel from Minerva you know this <laughs> you know this uh, bag and this is the fabric this because it's on the site I will link in the description for you guys it is a lovely 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 crepe the sheen fabric and I've like Minerva has made me fall in love with crepe the sheen fabric ever since uh, I will link I will link the blog post of where I talk about the fabric and what I made with it I'll also put a picture up for you guys but yeah the fabric is so lovely I can't wait to make this up I already know what I want to make in my head but um, execution 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 and not just execution time to execute <laughs> the time because I don't know I moved cities twice I moved houses I'm actually looking for a place now to move so so this is gonna be my like my third move since I moved in the same city that I moved into trust me it is hectic as all hell so like I said I will link this uh, this fabric for you guys in case you're interested it's like I said it's divine you will not go wrong with crepe the sheen it has that flowy silky feel and it's a dream to sew up no complaints here no complaints um yeah guys that was the video like I said a I didn't want it to be too long just a quick run-up of fabrics that I've gotten in the past couple of months and again I want to say this support your favorite content creator for free like comment subscribe on the video turn on your post notifications and um, yeah I will see you guys in the next video check out the other great videos on the channel and this is goodbye from me